All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Servitech. Dudes, today, I am freaking excited, dude. So last time, we figured out the whole uh, bit power. <laughs> we basically got power. We, we made water wheels that uh, generate some kind of power, which we can't really measure, but it generates some kind of power from water. Uh, and, like, I spent a lot of time trying to understand that because I've never used it before. Uh, and today, we're going to take what we learned... And we're gonna create the, a lumber mill. <laughs> I, it may not sound super exciting to you, but for a man who digs out worms and freaking, I don't know, can't even make crafting tables, it is exciting, dude. It is exciting. So, I'm out in the world. I've uh, I've collected a bunch of stuff since last time, done a bunch of tree chopping, and I've done a bunch of uh, thinking and planning what I want to do and how I want to build it. And basically... I think I've come up with some really good plans. So let me head home and I'll show you a little bit what the plan is. We also today, uh, in addition, we need to create uh, a, a better farm. Like now we, now that we can move water, because that was like the big product last time. Now that we can move water, we can make a better farm. So if you look over there where the big spruce tree is, that's just me uh, collecting spruce. Uh, so I'm going to chop that down. But that area up there was a full forest area last episode or last time you guys saw it and in this pack to clear any land out it takes time because uh, like i've said before every single flower every single sapling every single grass piece this replants itself so, so you gotta pick it up and you gotta make a trash pile and it's a uh, it's a grind but uh, i've done it and i'll show you guys in a second let me just take down that mega spruce tree there all right so here we are and as you can see we got a lot of space cleared out, which is super nice. So this area here is what I want to turn into our lumber mill. Um, <clears throat> now, I haven't quite... I, I've got an idea in my head what I want to do. And I, like I said, I've collected a bunch of things for this. Um, you guys, you guys want to know something that's really insanely good that I didn't realize? This saw here. Check this out. Uh, I have no spruce planks on my inventory. That gives you six planks. Now compare that to getting two planks from the stupid chopping board. Sometimes three planks, sometimes one plank, I think. But that means that finally, finally, I have wood. Now, wood's actually been an issue for me because, you know, chopping down trees is boring as it is. It's one of my hate, most, hate, most hated things in Minecraft. But doing it with a stone axe is just... Eww. It's exhausting, so I'm very, very happy about this saw. Um, okay, so like I said, I want to try and create something that looks cool and looks really, well, really good up here. And I'm not sure about this path, because I kind of like the feeling coming up here to the animals. Um, and we're definitely going to have to get into better, be better with the animals. Probably just keep the buffaloes, get a big, big better wheat going, and then maybe move the horse press and that. Um, but this is going to be the main focus area. And what I'm thinking we'll do. Um, let's grab the other stuff. I, I grabbed a stone or I made a stone box as well. Yeah, here we go. Um, what I want to do is uh, I've created. Yeah, I've got some coarse dirt. I got a bunch of bunch of spruce. Um, we also got some iron wood and some oak wood. Now, <clears throat> The water mill, I'm probably going to want to create at least one more of those. But all of these items, it's like, this mod is super old, by the way, like 2011. And uh, all of these are the oak texture. So I want to stay away from the oak plank if I can. Um, and probably go with a spruce-ish thing. I was also considering, is it this tree that's the olive? Yeah, the olive wood logs look so good. But I'm not sure. They take a lot of time to grow. These have been here for like weeks. Uh, so I'm not sure how light, how how viable it is to uh, farm them. Um, but what I'm thinking is we're gonna build a platform, and I want it to look like dirty and 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 stuff like that. And I think just to map things out, we're gonna go up one layer here. Uh, probably start right here. And again, I'm mapping things out with cobblestone for now. Then I kind of want to have a pathway that goes in a little bit. Because that's going to look beautiful. 
like that so we walk into the lumber mill um, and the lumber mill, I, I'm not sure if I want to put a roof on it necessarily. I kind of just want it as a big, like, manly workspace area. And we're going to put down the mill. We're going to put the turntable. We're going to put the saw. It's going to be good, dudes. It's going to be good. Um, so I wonder if I go... Yeah, maybe I should actually grab the center here. All right, I think I got the measurement down. Uh, this is going to be the size. We're going to do a 25 by 25 or 27 by 27 if you count the borders. A big platform up here and that's gonna be hopefully enough space um, And I want it elevated like this uh, We can possibly put like a staircase down here. We could do something down here I was thinking maybe we do the farming area here, but it's kind of not very symmetrical and squarey uh, So I may not want it. Oh, no the willow trees regrew crap um, So I may not want to do that, but I'm gonna spend some time uh Designing this place and I'm gonna go with a Nice little blocks mixture gonna use some gravel some cobblestone. I'm very limited on uh, resources So all of this is a little bit uh, tedious or, or hard to get but uh, We could we could go on mine. We could go on mine for like andersite and stuff, but I'm gonna try and stay away from that um, And try and get it done instead, but a little bit of mixture like this is gonna be good the cobblestone here is actually let me sleep through the night actually the cobblestone here, what I was going to say, actually makes a lot of sense. So in the past, like in, in history, they would build big foundations using, you guessed it, cobblestone. So, I mean, it's not just a... Oof, you get so slowed when you've sleep, slept, you guy, You get like morning tired. Yeah, so it does make a lot of sense. Uh, and I think I want to use... And here's the question. Do I go through the grind, which I didn't plan to do, and use some of the beautiful iron wood which would require me to do a bunch more tree chopping which i hate did i say that i don't like that i did <laughs> let me just try this because this wood is so good one second let's grab some of this i have actually got a little bit farmed up uh, oh and yeah like i said if you if you still don't understand this every sapling that drops replants itself so you gotta pick them up and plant them where you want them. Uh, but yeah, let's grab some more of this stuff. Boom. These logs look really nice. Let's compare them with spruce. Because I do want to have some kind of reinforced logs every ever so often. Going up like this on the side here. So maybe one, two, three, four, five. Next. Yeah, and the, I, the, these look so good. Let's try spruce. One, two, three, four, five. Much better than spruce. Yeah, let's go with iron. Looks like a castle from over here. <laughs> that's not That's not great. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, dude. So uh, I've been working away on this for a little while thinking about what I want to do Like I said, I'm so freaking excited about building at the moment that I want to try out a few different things And I'm actually doing something here. I'm actually crafting up a chisel and bit bag because for some reason, chiseling bits is a thing this early age. I mean, I guess it makes sense. I guess it makes sense. But yeah, so I got this whole thing uh, uh, put up and um, got the textures uh, mixed up. I think it looks really cool as a foundation. My issue is at the moment, I'm not sure what I want to do on the top. If I want to do a very rough patch, which kind of makes sense because we're outdoors, we're working... Um, oh crap, I didn't bring me blocks. Yeah, we're outdoors. We're kind of working uh, Originally like I wanted to use this combination some gravel Maybe even some sand. Do I not have any more gravel? No, okay crap uh, <clears throat> I can go and get some more um, but Yeah, maybe even some uh, some sand, but I wanted to use this and then mix in oh, I'm so inefficient with my go with my <laughs> with my traveling back and forth here. You can even carry these with you, Iskal, you stupid idiot. I know, dude, I know. I'm just a stupid idiot. Um, but yeah, sort of have it uh, mix in like this, and then, like, you could you could have spruce uh, wood, and you know what? Let's, let's run back a fifth time, okay? Just because, you know, there's one more block that I, that I forgot, and that is oak logs. <clears throat> um... So sort of make like the walls are in the hermit hole, 
but mix in a lot more dirt and a lot more gravel, make it really dirty. Um, and I really love this style. But then I was thinking maybe it won't work with the foundation, having the foundation like this, because I don't want it to look like a castle. And now I don't know. Um, then uh, I, I'm starting to look into another thing here. If we take our planks in the soil, we get these cool things, these half plates, whatever they are. Now if we take these, oh, you can actually use them as slabs. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know that. That's good. So how many? I have four. Okay, so when you make slabs, they've actually lowered the recipe, so I get three instead of six. So that's more efficient if you want slabs, I guess. That's cool. But yeah, you get these things, the quarter blocks. And I was thinking maybe we can put them up here. As sort of like a barrier. And that's when I started thinking about chiseling bits. Um, but I don't know if I want to get into chiseling bits. It's always like, gets very tedious very quick. Maybe we just have a barrier like that. And maybe even to make it less castly, take that down. But then it's going to look a little bit weird there. No, I don't like that. Ugh. Get out of here. But yeah, we could have a line like that. And then do my original plan here. So, like, go with... So the idea is, if you think back in time, what's happened here, right? Um, they, they've been working hard. The sawdust is everywhere. They've ruined the original, like, hardened wood floor that they put up. Hardened wood, as in the spruce. And it's like decaying and there's gravel on top of it and, you know, <laughs> lore. Not my strongest side. All right. So check it out, ladies and gentlemen. I, uh, <clears throat> this is, uh, this is the next morning. <laughs> so I sat up till 4 a.m. last night working on this thing. And uh, I just got up again after sleeping through the in real life and night. And uh, yeah. I think this is looking pretty cool. So, uh, added some leaves on the side here. And uh, just, just to make it a little bit more uh, run into the environment. And uh, the only thing I don't specifically like is when the border of the edge here gets too frequent. Like when it's too obvious that it's a, it's a border. So then you can do things like this to help it. Uh, and it is very messy up here. But I kind of like it. I kind of like the messiness. Uh, we could, of course, do it better with chisel bits, and um, we could probably improve on this. But for now, this is pretty uh, good, and I like it. So you come up this way, you go up this way, and you're in the lumber mill. Ah, <sighs> finally. Now, <clears throat> I did some crafting last night, but I think I was very tired, because I crafted up two water wheels, uh, I crafted up some more gearboxes, I crafted up some more axles, and I don't think I'm gonna need... To have more more water wheels, but I prepared to have or for having three water wheels uh, chilling up here and running different things. Now I don't think I think like you can probably run everything from one water wheel. I think as long as you have different axles. So maybe we'll we'll start with setting one up here and then we'll. I mean now that I've made many, I, I may just as well um, set up many because these are pretty expensive with the uh, glue. So I went down and I killed a bunch of mobs to get that stuff. Um, but okay, so uh, I was thinking we should recess these down in the floor. Uh, and the reason for that is so that we can place things on top of the axle without it being in in the top of the sky, if that makes sense. But we'll see. We'll see how this works out. So we'll have an axle there. We'll have a water wheel there. Oh, that looks, that looks so good already. And then... Since we now can move water, we should be able to make this pretty cool. Oh, and that water actually... Ah, that's that's nice. That's water sources there. Can I put that there? Is that going to start spinning the wheel or do I need to... I probably need to place it one lower. Um, I'm thinking there. Is that... Yeah, that starts spinning it. Okay, cool. We'll put the plank over top. Nice. Very nice. Okay, uh, so if we have an axle here, what I'm thinking is... The gearboxes are actually the most expensive thing because they require bronze, which I'm currently out of. I need to mix up some more. Um, 
We could have... And yeah, last episode I derped this up. But this here, this side is the input side. So that side needs to be there. And then I can activate other sides, I think. By just placing down a an axle. Cool. So we could have something like that. And then we could continue this onwards this way. Right? So for example, uh, our mill would still be at a very high level here. If we have it like this. Um, but like I said, I think you're fine with just using one, one, uh, wheel. I don't think we need to use many different. Um, but let's see, we're gonna need, we're gonna want the mill, we're gonna want the saw, and we're gonna want the turntable, which I hopefully can break as well. Nice. And there are probably more stuff. Could actually look into that better with, uh, there is a screw pump. <laughs> Which, you know what? We can actually probably make this. We need rods. Which we could totally make. So this is probably going to be a thing soon. Um, not sure what this does. It will... It creates slidings? No, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what that does. But there is one more block. Bellows as well. Uh, so there are a couple of things. So the mill would go up there. Um, and then the saw would, in this scenario, go there. Right? Um, how do we make this pretty and useful? I probably want to move... Ooh, okay, that was bite out. I'm thinking maybe we should move down the water wheel even further. Because that way the mill will be on the right level. Uh, however, the the saw want the saw we kind of want on this level. So maybe we will use two different water wheels here, or three eventually, and we'll have one one layer up for the saw and for everything that goes on the side, and we'll have one one layer down for everything else. So hmm. yeah, let me try and move this guy because this can you can break this. Uh, yes, okay, cool. I'm so happy that we can move the water. So yeah, let me move this down one level more. Doesn't look as cool down there, but it still still looks pretty sweet. Um, and I guess like we could save save a gearbox here and have the wind or have the mill uh, be chilling right here. But if we do, when this grinds stuff down, can I grind gravel down? No, when this grinds stuff down, it's gonna fall down onto into the wheel. So that's not gonna be a good time. So let's pick that up. Let's make the... Let's make a... Can I... Eh, eh, okay. Probably bugged out. Whenever you pick those axles up, they seem to bug out a bit. Because we can extend the axles. And the axles, they just... They're basically just hemp and black quartz to make. Uh, so if I go two out... And then we put down our second gearbox here. With, again, we need the input to be there. Uh, and then we have an axle here with the mill on top of that. We can cover the rest of this up here. Ensuring the uh, milled stuff to pop out right next to the mill. Yeah, I like that. I wonder if we can switch this on and off though. Does it say anything about this in the book? No, it doesn't really. Uh, we don't know how to make a lever, I assume. No. <clears throat> Which I don't know if it would even work. I mean, it's just gonna be loud up here, but it is a... It is a mill, so... Or it is a, like, workspace, so that makes sense, I guess. The only thing is that I'll have to come here and repair the gearboxes, which... I'm not too bothered about. So then, with that strategy, the next water wheel... Would have to go on the, uh... On the upper level. Hemp goes so quickly when doing this stuff, so definitely gonna need a large hemp uh, plant. <clears throat> but anyway, I got another... <coughs> excuse me. I got another gearbox and I got another axle, so... That... I wonder if that... Uh, yeah, that connected correctly. And we can do that. And with more axles, we could spread these apart bit more, but I don't really think that's necessary uh, so 
something like that. And I'm grinding up the last hemp I had here. So we got a little bit spare still. But that's really good. So the issue is that whenever you... It's so loud, by the way, up here. The manliness. But the issue is whenever you grind something up in this guy, it pops out everywhere, as you can see there. Um, but yeah. Alright, so I wouldn't mind doing a couple more things up here. I think I want my horse guy to be here as well. And we may be able to put him over here. He needs a 7x7 seven seven area. The only thing I'm scared about is the lead despawning and the horse walking away. I also want to put up some kind of storage area up here. A little bit of a uh, nice, uh, nice storage area. So maybe on one of the sides we'll have like a little workstation um, with the different uh, crates and stuff. Um, woodwork specifically. And what else is from horsepower? Because there's one thing, there's the grindstone, which, I mean, now we have the mill. So very few things are going to require a grindstone. It's mainly the the chopping block. Do we need that now that we have the saw? I mean, there are a few things that we need to make from the, from the chopper. Uh, specifically the, uh, the thin slabs. But I think it's mainly the press that needs to go up here. And people have been telling me to make this cart as well, as it's like a <laughs> it's like a big storage chest. But I mean that was an H zero, so I think we're I think we're good with all of that. But yeah, these guys here you need to make in the in the old school uh, <clears throat> um, saw. You can't make them in this. But this is the most fantastic thing ever. <laughs> so let me uh, let me see what I want to do here and and put some stuff up. I'm definitely gonna. Yeah, well, I removed most of the stuff down here. Um, as far as the farm goes, I don't think we're going to have time to do that properly today. And I'd rather not rush it. So I'm going to work on finishing this a little bit instead. And uh, we'll see what I come up with. But the farm area will need to be... Yeah, like I said, I uh, buffaloes have actually been escaping here, by the way. So it's nice to have chicken, but I think... Yeah, I, th I think I would want to automate these later to get the feathers. Like, do a vanilla chicken farm instead. And if we do that, we can extend this out. Right? <clears throat> it's probably good to have all the animals, but like sheep, I haven't had any use for having my own sheep. So, slaying this guy as well. Making this even bigger. And these dudes can hang out all the way over here. There are some uh, rain dances and stuff or totem dances that you can do to make your crops grow faster. Um, so we may look into like having some instruments up at the farm, but I'm not sure. But yeah, I think I'm going to take all of this way away and then plan to have our... Hello, pig. You're so freaking cute. Yeah, plan to have the uh, farm up here. <laughs> that was That was so rough. <laughs> but plan to have the farm up here. Right next to the to the thing. All right, dudes. Check this out. Uh, I have been thinking about this for a long time. I've been doing some more work. I'll show you that in a second. And I hope that this here will work. So I put these thin slabs on top of this and dug down. And then I've been waiting for about an hour <laughs> for the grass to spread from here uh, to over here. Old, old school vanilla style. Uh, and now I just got two corners. So I'll change all of this to trodded. And hopefully this will be good. And hopefully you can't get out of here. I can step up just fine. and I can Or jump up just fine. But uh, since it's more than one block. I'm kind of hoping that he can't. Anyway. <clears throat> over here is where we will have the farm. So I cleared out all the area that we had here. And I've laid out a little bit of a pattern. Trying to be a little bit uh, technical about this, I suppose. We're gonna have a, uh, we're gonna have four different things that we grow, is how I figured this out. So if we take a look here, we need our grains, we need our fruit, we need our protein and vegetables. This farm will be uh, hosting uh, potatoes, which will be our vegetable. We will have rice, which will be our grain. And like you know, this is we can process this stuff, but we can also just eat it. It gives us one percent grain. It's kind of good, kind of easy, nice. Um, we will have um, wheat, which we will feed to our buffaloes, which will then generate 
protein for us. And uh, the fourth slot is going to be hemp for all our um, things and stuff that we need to do. That hemp runs out really quick, so uh, that that's something that we that needs to be done. And I just realized one thing: this pathway here is only going to be one wide, and then the middle. Yeah, that's kind of fine. So I've done four squares here, um, each being in nine by nine. And my hopes are that the vanilla or that the water works the vanilla way with with tilling soil. I think it will, so that means we need a water source here. Is that center? Yeah, we need a water source there, and then we have one square there, one there, and one there. And we'll go ahead and uh, till this land. It's so nice to be able to pick up... What the? Gravel clay bucket? Oops. Oh, you can pick up clay. <laughs> you can pick up uh, gravel with this stuff. That's interesting. Yeah, my hope is that this is going to be enough because I'm not going to be, I'm not going to want to spend any time maintaining any worms or anything like that. But I think it should be. That thing there is wet, so yes. I'm using the olive wood here uh, and I like sat here and I tried to decide what I wanted to design, how I wanted to design this for a very long time. And then I just finally went like, ah, eh, you know what? Let's just do olive wood for now, and we'll see if we change it up later. It's not the greatest, but it's still okay. Now, just out of curiosity, can I do something like this? Yes, I think I can. And <laughs> it doesn't look the greatest, but at least we don't. We're not going to step into that uh, to the water there. So that's cool. I like that. All right, dudes, I'm very, very, very happy with this. So I got the uh, seeds as far as <laughs> for what we had. Potatoes, wheat, rice, and this is the hemp that I had. Not very much, but uh, yeah, I got all of that planted down. I cleared out a little bit more here. Let's throw away that, 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 and that will be good. Yeah, <clears throat> the trick is to throw it away in the water so it doesn't replant, as you guys know. Uh, we got the buffaloes chilling here. I wouldn't mind having the gate there, though, because, yeah, that looks better. Okay, um, so I still got to do the storage area for this place over there. And I'm planning on maybe, you see, I did an opening here. Maybe we'll do a big workshop area here for food, like a little bit of a kitchen almost, uh, with some grills and stuff like that so that we can cook and farm at the same time because that's an issue I'm having at the moment. I've, I've been farming and then I've been just storing the unprocessed food which does us no good. I also uh, changed this up for trotted dirt and I can still jump up it. The horse is stuck so that is perfect. Uh, we're gonna put the um, lead. Hmm. That doesn't look great. Maybe we'll uh, change that out for like a uh, an oak log here. Would that look good? Did I break? No. Let's pick that up. Okay, maybe we'll do something like that. And have the uh, lead chill in there. Because otherwise, like I said, I think the lead will despawn. When I unload this chunk. So that's better. Lead, lead. I don't know what how, how to pronounce it, by the way. Now, it's very loud up here, obviously. But it's a workplace, so that's good. We still got this corner where we can do some stuff as well. Which is cool. But I'm super, super happy with this, dudes. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope you guys uh, love the look of this. Uh, we got a lot more organization now, which is so freaking nice. Didn't get any advancements done, but we'll come back next time and probably be able to do something to write on. So, yeah. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, dudes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you dudes have enjoyed. Have a fan freaking fantastic evening. Hit the like button if you did enjoy, by the way. And I will see you dudes in the next episode.